Okay, first of all, what you're looking at is the new Windows operating system. It's Windows Vista 2007 Ultimate. And you can tell that it's different than Windows XP is because in the lower left-hand corner, instead of a green Start button, you actually have the Windows logo. When you click on it, it just works just like the Start button. And then, of course, you have fancier icons. And then, more famously, is the sidebar that you can add, like, sticky notes, post-it notes here, a calendar, and also the weather. But our focus here is on Microsoft Word. So to make things easier when we're going through the exercises that you'll be watching is I put the shortcut of Microsoft Office Word 2007 on my desktop. So all I have to do to get started is double click. Okay, first of all, is Microsoft Word 2007 got a facelift? There's no longer menus or toolbars. Okay, I lied. You have one toolbar, but it's really small and it's the only thing that you can just about customize in the new Word 2007. But first of all, let's get started up here. You can see that you don't have any toolbars or any menus. You have what's called a ribbon. This whole thing here that has all these tabs on it is a ribbon. Okay. Probably what you're most familiar with in Word is the Home tab here where you have B for bold to bold any text or to color it red and so forth. Now within each tab you have what's called groups. And you can see there's the font group, everything that's pertaining to the font. And then the paragraph, if you need to expand your paragraphs, make it uh, single spacing, double spacing, and of course styles for headings. Now within the groups, you have what's called, well, when you hover over it, it tells you a uh, font dialog box. I called it the expandable box because when you click on that button, it expands into a new box, everything that they couldn't fit into this little group right here. So you can expand it. And you'll notice that the default for Word 2007 that Microsoft put up is this font here. It's called Calibri, and I think it's size 11, but I changed mine. I messed with it. You can change that, too. If you don't like what you see here, every time you open up Word, you'd rather have something like Times New Roman. We'll come in here, type in Times New Roman, and then select it. And then come over here and change your font size to whatever you'd like. And then when you're finished, click on the default button here. And it will tell you, hey, look, if you click yes right now, I'll go ahead and make sure that any time you open up Microsoft Word from here on out, you won't get this Calibri font type. You'll get what you selected here. Are you okay with that? Sure. I'll go ahead and click yes. And there you see it automatically changes to Times New Roman. And then if I close out of here, I don't save it. And I double click and open up Word again, Times New Roman. So from here on out, any time I open it up, I get the new font that I'd like. Okay, there's one thing you ought to know that when you start messing around and customizing things in Microsoft here, you're going to disable certain features. Now, I know we're just at the beginning of going over things, but just real quick, bear with me. On the Page Layout tab, they have what's called Themes, and there's the video that we'll cover on this a little bit later. But to let you know real quickly that when you click on the themes, and wow, look how pretty that is. I mean, that's the whole point of having the ribbon is because it's supposed to be more visually pleasing, and that's the reason why Microsoft, again, made the change to have more visually pleasing buttons so you, you can use the full functionality or most of it than previous when you just had menus because well for example you can hover over it and change the font and also the colors of the background if you use words default but if you go back to the home tab and you change the defaults to Times New Roman you change your styles your paragraphs you start customizing the way you'd like word to be then you're going to lose some functionality, but that's okay. Again, if you want to learn more about that, watch the themes training video, okay? Otherwise, let's keep it simple. Next thing we want to do after we understand the tabs, the groups, and their expand buttons, and not every group is going to have its own expand button, okay? Next thing we want to cover is the menu. How in the heck do I print this off? Or where are some of the buttons? I can't find them. Well, remember, where's Waldo? That's what you're going to have to do. But to help simplify this just a bit, they have the Word Office logo button. When you click on it, it'll give you your save buttons. It'll also give you your open, create a new document, you know, click on it, and then there's the blank document. Click create, gives you a blank document. So now at the bottom, you can see I have two documents open the one originally and the one I just created. So I'll close out of that, go back to the original here. And of course, printing, that's the other option. Now, having said that, I'm going to click off in a blank space to close that out. You have up here the only thing that you can customize in Word. It's called the QAT, Q-A-T, acronym for Quick Access Toolbar. And what that does is you can 
put your own buttons like the print button on here, the save as button or the save button. There's your um, undo and redo buttons but you can add a lot of buttons in here if you like some of the buttons in Word 2003 and you just can't find them quickly. Now I'm going to run through this real fast but you want to keep watching the training videos because we'll go everything more over in detail later on. Okay, the, Again this is just a quick overview. If you want to add buttons to the quick access toolbar just right click anywhere on it. See how I'm just right clicking on any button? Well, I can remove it, but what if I want to customize it? There it is. Customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Left click, opens up your options menu, and over to the left here is all the popular ones that were Microsoft thinks that are popular that you may want. And there's the Quick Print. You can double click on that, it adds it over to the right, and then click OK. By the same token, I can right click that and remove it. And then finally, one more thing I want to cover that's a little bit different about um, Word 2007 is down at the bottom you have what's called the window frame. You can see I'm on page one of one, of course. I haven't created a several page document, I just opened it up. And how many words are in the document, that's nice. You can customize this bottom window frame here just by simply right clicking. And you can see everything that's checked I already have on the window frame. Anything that I want to add, like um, the cap locks, I can have that permanently on here, or the line number. Um, any line that I'm on, it, it'll show me down here on the windows frame. There we go, there's line one. And then I can just click on it again to uncheck it. A quick overview of Word 2007. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.